Hello welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you, how you can create login form using Ajax and cookies. As you can see, this is the form we are going to create. Let's start creating it. Create a folder in your www or htdocs folder, and give it a name, here I am giving login form. Under this folder create another folder called CSS, and drag this folder into your editor. Create a new file under the login form folder called index.php. I had explained you how to create a registration form, so we will make our login page using the same source code as we did in the last video. Now I am copying the same index page which I have used in the previous registration video. Now we will go to the browser and see how our page looks. Change the heading to Login Form. The login page we are going to create in this video, contains only two fields, email and password. So let's remove rest of these fields. Change the value of the input type Submit to Sign In. As you can see our basic form structure has been created but not designed yet. Now we have to design it to look beautiful. Go to the registration forms folder that is Ajax form that we have created in the previous video, and from that folder, copy these two folders and paste it in your login form folder. Remove this code from your style.css file. Let's keep the email and password field in a single row. As you can see, style.css which is under the CSS folder is linked now. Now we have to create a checkbox input type in another row. Copy this class column. Change the input type submit to checkbox, and give it a name, here I am giving remember underscore me. Write the text, remember me under the label tag with the class remember underscore me. Now change the width of the input checkbox in your style.css file. Now go to index.php, and insert the inline CSS in the class row, of the checkbox input and reposition it. Now go to the style.css file and design the label tag whose class we had given remember underscore me. As you can see our form is completely designed, now let's make it dynamic. Go to the jQuery code. If you want to change this ID of the form, then you have to change the ID attribute value of the form, or if you don't want to change the ID, then you can leave this as it is. Here I am giving my login form. Remove this file validation part, as we don't need it here. Change the URL to login.php, as after clicking on the submit button, the URL will goes to the login.php. Wherever, my form ID is written in the jQuery code, replace it with the my login form ID. Create a login.php file under your login form folder. Let's write the PHP code. First we will create an associative array variable called response, which contain two keys, and then, we will create two variables, error empty and error email and set them to false, like we did in the registration form video. Next, using isit function we will check that our values has been set or not. Make sure you will use the same name as you have used for the name attribute of the input type. If any of the form's values is set then the set message will be shown, otherwise not set message will be shown. I have already talked about this JSON encode function in my previous video. As you can see set message is shown because our values has been set. Now we have to store both of these values in the same name variable.
Next, we will check that if both of these fields are empty, then it shows the empty error message and error empty variable will set to true, otherwise not empty error message will be shown. Now we have to validate our email field. If the email is invalid then it shows the invalid error message and error email variable will set to true. If the email is valid, then we will say if error empty and error email variables are false, then we will create a query variable to check that email and password we are inserting in the login form exists in the database or not. I am using the same database that I have created in the registration video. So as you can see password is encrypted here. That's why we have to create a dhash named variable to decrypt the password. A note here. MD5 function cannot be decrypted that's why we have to encrypt the password again so that it is equal to the password which is inserted in the database. We will store our mysqli underscore query function in a variable called r. Create a variable called check to know the number of rows in a result set. Next we will check that checkbox is checked or not. A note here. Remember underscore me is the value of the name attribute of the input type checkbox. Store the value of input type checkbox in the same name variable. Again we will use isit function. If the checkbox input type is set and if it is not empty too, then we will say that if check variable is equal to 1, means if the email and password both found in the database or table row, then the cookie will be set for both the fields. This is the name of the cookie. This is the value of the cookie. This means the cookie will expire after one day. Same for the password cookie. And if the email and password you are inserting to log in does not exists in the database or table row then this message will be shown. After the creation of cookies, page will be redirected to the welcome.php. I am using javascript window.location object for redirection here. You don't need to add the redirection code after this error message because I am going to remove it later. If the checkbox is not checked then a session will be set. To do this copy this code and paste it after this else part. Remove the set cookie function and instead of it write the dollar underscore session global variable to store the email variable in session. Next, start the session using session underscore start php function. Now, create a welcome.php file under the login form folder. Start the session again for this page. If email session is set then it will display the email variable value. Otherwise it will display the cookie email. Next, create a config.php file under the login form folder to connect the form with the database. $con contains the connection. As I am using the same database that I have used for registration video that's why database name is Ajax form. Now, 
Let's include this file in login.php file. Add $con variable in MySQLi query function. Now I am removing the code which I had told you earlier. As you can see, abc at the rate gmail.com is not exist in the database or table, that's why it is showing me the error message. Now let's insert xyz at the rate gmail.com and the same password which I had already inserted in the database or table. As you can see we are successfully redirected to the welcome.php page, and we are logged in using session without checking the checkbox, that's why it shows us the email variable value that is stored in session. Now let's try to logged in with remember me, as I am giving that email and password which does not exist in the database or table, that's why it is showing me the error message. Now, let's try with that email and password that already exists in the database or table. As you can see we are successfully logged in. To make it understand easily I am inserting session before session variable and cookie before email cookie. First destroy the session to check again. Add if is it cookie email and cookie password after the else part. Now again I am login with XYZ email and the correct password using session. As you can see we are successfully logged in using session. Let's log in with remember me. We are successfully logged in using cookies. Now, if cookies are set then we have to save them in our input fields. To do this, we have to go to index.php. Give the email and password field an ID. Here I am using the same name for both the fields. Let's add the PHP code at the end. If any of the cookies are set then, we will store these cookies in the variables. And using JavaScript we will display their values. First, let's delete the cookies. Now let's check it is saving the cookies in input fields or not. As you can see our cookies has been saved in the fields. Now go to your browser's cookies section to check that cookies are set or not. As you can see localhost contains three cookies. From these three cookies two cookies are for email and password. Now go to welcome.php file and create a logout link using anchor tag. Give this link a class here I am giving logout link. Using this class we will style this link. Link the style.css in welcome page. Go to style.css to design the link using the class logout link. Let's check that style.css is linked or not. As you can see it is linked. Let's design the logout link using CSS. I am changing the name of the logout link. Now, 
Create a logout.php file under your login form folder. If email session is set then the session will be destroyed, and through header function, page will be redirected to index.php. Otherwise, if any of the email and password cookies are set, then, both the cookies will expire to one hour ago. To do this, we will store both of these cookies in variables and then write the code to expire the cookie. A note here, if you set the expiration date in past, then the cookie will be deleted. Write the session start function at the starting. Now let's test the code. As you can see after trying to log out using session, we are logged out but the page is not redirecting to the index.php, go to the welcome.php and remove the session destroy function from here. Now let's check again. Now we are successfully logged out with session. After successfully logged out with Remember Me, the cookies are also expired. Localhost now contain only one cookie as email and password cookie is expired. So this is it for today. Hope you liked and learned something from this. If you do, then hit a like, and subscribe to my channel for more. Bye.